Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bulk. I am the... I am amazing. And I am Bulk. So we literally got hundreds of suggestions for this movie. Hey, man, can you do the amazing Bulk? Uh, can you do amazing the Bulk? Amazing can you do amazing Bulk? Can you do the amazing Bulk? Can you do the amazing Okay, so this movie is like a ripoff of The Incredible Hulk, which already isn't a great movie. But this time they filmed it all on a green screen. What the... What the heck? Yeah, and if that wasn't bad enough, uh, the budget for this movie somehow was $14,000. I don't even know how multiple people like agreed to make this movie at all. I mean, it was only about 10 people. That is exactly nine too many people. Hey, we should look at reviews. Does this movie even like have reviews? I love it. This movie's a part of my heart and soul and I would do anything and talk to the greatest movie director of all time, Louis Schoenbrunn. I need to tell him how much he means to me. Roger. The amazing bulk will transform any dedicated movie fan into a raging monster once this endurance experiment is over. It was beast movie, Eva. It was really good. I leaked it a lot. Absolutely barbaric. Honestly, I would rather watch myself die in slow motion stretch to 100 hours than this pile of garbage. Yeah. You know what isn't garbage? Licking the video. Oh. Dab, green screen dab. Where am I? Am I in the beach? Boy, oh boy, do I love being at the beach. It is such a chill and sunny day. Just kidding. It's only my bathroom. Look, I may not be at the beach, but I'm not wearing my trademark sponsor shades for no reason. Why are you wearing them? Well, that would be because of the simple fact that today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Look, things are starting to open back up, and that means I don't have time to play $80 video games on consoles that I can't even buy. It is entirely impractical. Gee, do I wish there was a game available on mobile and PC with great graphics, awesome battles, and super dope bosses. You don't have to wish. Because there's a game that's out that's exactly like that. It's called Raid Shadow Legends. It's been out for a while now. Sounds kind of sus. I don't want to play that unless there's over 500 champions and multiple game modes to suit my play style. Well, you're in luck because it has all of that and even more. Here's the game running on my own personal mobile device. One of my favorite parts of Raid is that you have to be strategic. I like playing the Dungeons game mode, so I have to select and equip my champions correctly. Otherwise, I won't even have a shot at winning the battle. Wow, that sounds pretty gaming. What is new with Raid this specific month? Well, I'm glad you asked, because Raid just added 11 new champions to the game and over 200 new stages to use them in. And I even heard you could win an exclusive legendary champion if you beat them all. I am just now getting word that they added five new levels to nearly every single dungeon in the game. That is so much content. That is so much stuff that I couldn't even memorize it all. Well, if you want to start playing Raid today, just hit our link in the description. It's free to download and play, and it really does support the channel when you use our links. Thank you to Raid for sponsoring our video. Okay, bye. Don't forget the super CGI. <laughs> this is Movie Studios Movie Studio. It's movies. This is a universal picture because it's universally a picture. <laughs> Okay, so check this out. Here's the plaza, and here's the plaza again, and then here's the plaza again, again. Did you just like walk around the block? Is there any continuity? Need a light. Need a light? What, is he just gonna light her eyebrows on fire? Well, he is mugging her. Mugging? Did you mean the mug from shop.mws.media? <laughs> so like this mugger guy shoots the girl in the head and then the bulk shows up and the bulk kills the dude. Then he runs away and that's how the movie starts. The amazing bulk. Looks like blood or something. I don't know. I never saw purple blood before. Okay, everyone in this movie just kind of acts like they're not even in the same room. So in the behind the scenes, they actually showed that they were in the same room. Why is there a behind the scenes for this? That's a great question. This is like a school project that they got funding for. I bet we're going to find out soon enough. What is that? It makes it look like they were the ones that were in the ambulance. You know that giant street that's just in the ambulance? Yeah, TARDIS truck, TARDIS truck. Shoot, oh no. Oh, oh shoot. God. Oh no, I hate it when I get hit by Doctor Who. This table is physically impossible. Look at that leg. What, did they cut part of the leg off? Well, I can't say for sure. I don't have the appropriate data to corroborate the research. Like four years and nothing solid. What even are their faces right now? Furthermore, what is this audio? Four years and nothing solid. <laughs> there you go. Assuming nothing good is ever going to come of this. Yeah, and then it's just my AC in the background, which is the... 
mean, do you realize how long a human would live if we could perfect this serum? So these scientists are like trying to make a super serum, kind of like Captain America, but it's gonna go wrong, kind of like the Hulk. Yeah, but it's okay to rip off the other movies because it's a parody. It's for comedy, guys. Isn't this funny? funny. Are we even sure this was supposed to be a parody or did it just kind of end up that way? I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, you see, um, um, it was, uh, wow, there's a site for sore eyes. Darling, why didn't you go? Well, what kind of a surprise would that have been if you knew if I was coming? Oh my God, where is the camera? They're just like flipping around and there's no perception of like the space at all. Oh God, what was that zoom? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry about earlier. Uh, I'm just upset about all these failed experiments. Oh wait, did his hair clip through the car for a second there or something? Yeah, if I'm like behind my microphone, I shouldn't be like clipping through it. Were they just mixing chemicals in a library? They could have had a normal montage, but instead we get the fractal noise wall. Fingers crossed. just make you evaporate. Yeah, you just like dust if it fails. My COVID vaccine made me turn into dust. Better stab me a second time so I can come back. <laughs> Why is he in space? You know, space, that place that has the giant jello fountain. You yeah, don't step off the porch or you'll just float into the vacuum and explode. Ah! Mm. Wow, this is how you greet the mailman. Have you seen my mailman? Have you seen my mailman? No, no, really. Have you have you seen him? I haven't gotten my mail in three weeks. I think something happened. He stepped off the porch. Want a drink? No, thanks. I need results, Hank. Stop stalling. So our main character, Hank, is coming to the house of the man he works for, who just happens to be his girlfriend's dad. And he's gonna ask the father if he can marry his girlfriend, but he's failing to make the serum, so the father is gonna be mad at him. If you don't make my bulk juice, you can't marry my daughter. I love her. Not a bad answer. That's no surprise, though, you being a scientist and all. What does that have to do with anything? You're a scientist, so that's why you love my daughter. You know, I'm somewhat of a scientist myself. Why do they have spears? <laughs> what are they doing? What is any of this? Is this like a different movie? Yeah, they're just gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna spear you, Bren. They're, if you come near their dog and missiles, they're, they're gonna spear you. Watch out. You don't want to get speared. <laughs> this table has been in my family for hundreds and hundreds of years. What is this accent? It's German? Question mark. It's German with a bad noise gate. Ich bin ein Kinder. Stop! What is that? I can't <laughs> tell what's worse, that guy or the dog. Okay, so here we're introduced to our villain, Dr. Can't love and to show you he's evil. He literally just turns a man into a skeleton. You can't have an evil villain without him killing someone in the first scene. Nothing like a villain whose only motivation to be bad is being bad. What are you doing here? Why is there a monkey with a rocket? We already know it's the ICBM room. Why is he here? He's just like, rocket, ro rocket. Then why don't you push the button? What is that in the background? It's actually Dolby Atmos 5 million to one. We finally achieved it. 5 million speakers, one subwoofer. Institute of German Scientists. And it's a fake rocket. Look <laughs> how slow that missile is moving. If that was a real missile, you wouldn't see it coming. You'd just be like, oh, I'm a German scientist. Now. I have all their money. No, you don't. You probably blew all of it up. Yeah, did he just like write his name in their wills? Like now he just has all their stuff and their money. So are we just gonna like ignore the fact that he's blowing up all like the world's monuments? He nuked this half of the world, but this half of the world is just fine. Oh my God. Hank, a roller coaster. Come on, we gotta go. Yeah, something tells me I'm gonna regret eating that chili dog. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, a roller coaster. Look, let's ride it. Man, I shouldn't have had that chili dog. We're so high up. We. Man, I've been waiting to ask you something all night. Why is every scene like 3D stock footage? You had $15,000 and you could have just bought real stock footage instead. Yeah, but then it wouldn't be sci fi. You know what? If Marvel can make a whole movie on green screen, so can we. 
That's the couch. <laughs> you know those bench seats that are in sports cars? Bro, does your couch have cup holders? My couch has a fridge in it, dude. I keep some LaCroix under the recliner, bro. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, all right? No, you might want to sleep in after what happened tonight. Oh my god, there's not even like a windshield or anything behind the windshield. So they made this car in like paint and then they keyed out the white and just dropped it in. Yeah, also, why is the background real? Like the only real background they had and they just put an MS Paint car on top of it. Bren, why is your background real? Dude, is he not on a green screen? What the How heck? Lame. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Purple. It's unusual. Maybe it could work. Maybe the purple could work this time. Yeah, guys, didn't you know you can like cure cancer with the color purple? Well, here goes nothing. You know that needle that worked on the plant? I should put that in my body so I can get bigger and better results. So in this scene, Hank decides to inject himself with the serum, even though it's never worked before. And it's still not going to work because now he's going to turn into the bulk. Although, wouldn't that mean that it kind of works? It worked for the plot. So isn't this just the beginning of the movie again? Yeah, they just watched the Quentin Tarantino movie once and were like, yeah, let's mess with the timeline. Whoa. I believe I do know the one. Spill the beans, will ya? Or I'll be forced to resort to violence. Hey man, talk to me or I'll beat you up. <laughs> Hold on, that is the same couch. Except it's tinted red, so it's a little different now. Not the cop couch. Are the throw pillows like really uncomfortable in this one? There's like metal bars in it. You like sit on it and you feel the foundation of the couch coming through your butt like, mm. I didn't get this from the peanut butter and jelly sandwich I had for lunch today. Yo, did they just like track that stain on his hand? Why did that need to be in effect? It's just big. Basic makeup. Yeah, you could have just like put juice on his hand. You could have smacked a grape and gotten better results. We're gonna have to take it down to the station. I don't think that'd be a good idea. You don't wanna do that. So he becomes a tornado and then he becomes the Hulk, I guess. He goes, Hank, better get on this tornado. Good thing I called for backup. Backup? You're gonna need an army to take down that monster. Then why are you still standing there? He's like a seven foot purple blob. What do you mean? I have an army. Well, we have a Hulk. <laughs> Get it? What is that? Bang, 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 bang. 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 Yeah, so basically in this part of the movie, they're going to go down that alley and they're going to be in front of shipping containers and he's going to go down that alley and then they'll be in front of shipping containers. Like this was on green screen. You could have put the cops like in the same shot as the bulk, couldn't you? Uh, yeah. Were they only allowed like three layers of compositing in their free trial editing software? Apparently. Do not enter. Oh my God. Bulk, you entered a do not enter area. Closer. Get me out of your mind. You know the acoustics in a helicopter? Oh uh, yeah, you know how you can... Like this the entire time you're in the helicopter. Hey, Bren, get a better camera shot of the bulk, please. Look out! Wait, wait, wait. What direction was he coming from there? What is that angle that he is standing on? He is standing on the side of a building, probably. Like, watch out! in there. This is gonna be the big ultimate death scene. You know what I'm saying? That camera is giant. It probably has a zoom lens. Just zoom in. Uh, yeah, I can see. Oh, shoot. Hang on. All right. Now I can see. I can see Jude right there. Um. Oh, shoot. Uh, you better. Uh, you, you gotta get in there. Oh, uh, oh, shoot. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Die! What, did he eat it? Yeah, he eats helicopters. That's his thing. He sat down on nothing! Also, did they just, like, go back to the place where they started the chase from? He has been running circles around the same block. Everything circles back. It's poetic. I've lost track of time in this prison. They just put you in. Yeah, like they've just closed the door and he's like, I've lost track of time in this prison. I could have been here for weeks or days or months or minutes or seconds. Probably sec. I've probably only been here a few minutes. Feels like a long time. I don't have a window, even though there's a window in this shot. I could probably look at the sun and count the day. It's not important. All I've had to go on is the mailman banging a cup against the door once a day. <laughs> What's up, Doc? Here, let me put a sign up on this top secret facility to let you know that it's top secret, just in case you didn't know. Yeah, I never would have guessed. What's going on? 
Don't worry about that now, Henry. Just go back to sleep. They're not even remotely walking. They're just like... Hey, let me just glide past you there. So, by the way, I want to mention there's, like, still a villain in this movie, in case you forgot. I did. Oh, don't worry. They're about to bring him back. Yeah, don't worry. The hero, I know he's eating helicopters right now, but he's a hero. Or is he the villain? It's one of those really deep movies where the hero has been the villain all along. It's kind of like the Incredible Hulk. Oh! He's an anti-hero. I'm going to send up. A Saturn V rocket and blow up the moon. First of all, no. Second of all, how? You can't just blow up the moon. You'd need like a million rockets. Hey, thanks, Gru. Wait, why are they just docking and then reversing and then docking and reversing? You know, someone had to edit this and that person made it go backwards and forwards. They, they were just like, this is perfect. Yeah, this is good. Sauce. Also, what does it have to do with anything in this movie? Uh, yeah, it's the space scene. They're in space. Yeah, they're they're up there to blow up the moon with that satellite. The satellites that blow stuff up. The movie Space Cowboys where the satellite has nukes on it for some reason. Some people call me the Space Cowboy. <laughs> some people call me Maurice. Like, shut up. It's time for something more important. Yeah, like what? You finally gave me the results I was after. What is that background? He's in some like fusion reactor or some crap and there's lightning. <laughs> like what? Okay. You developed a serum to enhance a human. Good job. Well, if you're here to give me an award, do me a favor and shove it where the sun don't shine. Put it where the sun don't shine. Like under it. A tree or in the in the shade or indoors. Basically anywhere away from the sun. If I go outside naked and put my butt up in the air, is the sun shining into it? Depends. Do you have transparent skin? <laughs> I'm a monster. I can't conform to society. He said the line! He said the word! <laughs> Society. Did you know that society is like one of the words in the name of our channel, dude? It's also the name of our Twitch channel. It's also like part of our Twitter handle. And Discord is also what we live in. You better pay close attention. We don't have enough clothes in your size. Get it? Because he's because he's fat, fat. I don't know. So the Dollar Tree version of the general from the Hulk comes and tells him that if he doesn't fight the bad guy, he can't marry his daughter. So now he's going to turn into the bulk again. Morality. Okay, how? That is not how space works. Then they show actual footage of a moon landing after that. Technology existed for this movie to not suck, and yet here we are. The time is now. <laughs> so why did he send the monkey to deliver a bomb? <laughs> yeah, he could have just sent the bomb. My theory about this is that I think they just had the stock footage of the rocket and the monkey together, and that's like the only one they can find, so that's why this monkey exists throughout the entire movie. They just found a monkey stock footage, and they're like, you know what? Sure. Also, that monkey does not have a helmet in space. And you know, that's why they sent monkeys up to test them, is because they can survive in space. Don't Google it. Yeah, don't look at those pictures of the monkeys with space helmets. If monkeys can survive the vacuum of space, and we apparently evolve from monkeys, couldn't we survive in space? When the dinosaurs died on that meteor were many, many monkeys that lived in space for a long time and they came to Earth. So actually that's why we have the chemical makeup of the stars is because we come from monkeys which came from the stars. <laughs> Stop screaming. <laughs> okay. Die. There is no antidote. The government will probably give me an award for this. For creating an army of superhuman soldiers. Ah, uh, yes. Superhuman soldiers. Not super soldiers, because we don't have the rights. Ah, why is there a tornado? Not the Kansas monster. Why is that fire realistic in the... Ah! What? <laughs> what are you doing here? Why is Robin Hood here? What? Doc. Flamingo. <laughs> oh, there's the F-18 again. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> a tank. Why is there a tank? They're in the middle of the Unity game engine field. My God, he is running fast. <laughs> they just typed like Aminal in the stock footage and then downloaded every single one they could find. Yes. And then just slammed it in here. This made 
created like Blender 1.0 with all the default assets. This isn't Blender. This is like Spoon. Gun. Who are you? He's the guy with the gun clipping through his shoulder. Why was there? How do the rules in this universe work? Gotta do my taxes on the bench as a chameleon. And now the Red Baron is here. Why do you look like you're in a Fisher Price plane? <laughs> Who are you? Why are you playing soccer in a field? Okay, okay, okay. So now we've established that there's sentient animals, no government, but there's police. There's real military, fake military, real people, fake people, very fake animals, very fake people, boats, planes, new planes, old planes, soccer playing people in the middle of hills. <laughs> oh, the emotion in that child's face. Oh, no, okay, no. Bong, bong. Ugh. And now there's Zeus! Literally, the god of the everything is here. Oh, and now we're rowdies. Whatever that is. Yeah, it's like rallies. Oh, it's a Gmod Blackhawk helicopter. What exploded? Oh, look, it's Daniel Boone. What year is this set in? Yeah. Hey, look, it's the same shot of the tank from earlier. <laughs> what are you doing here? No, no, not again. Go away. No, bad dog. Day. Oh my god, it's underdog. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am a gecko. I am a... <laughs> I am a gecko. They saw one Geico commercial and then created that stock asset for no reason at all. Who's punishing this gecko and making him write, I am a gecko, over and over and over? What did he do? You put people... <laughs> On your missiles. Why is Waluigi on a bomb? Yeah, he's got to steer the missile. On your missiles. Actually, if you look at that, that is not a missile. That is a bomb. They're using bombs on a moving target with people attached to them. Duct tape me to a missile and shoot me out of your plane. Please do. That way I can die and be done with this. Land the... You know how nuclear bombs have a flash? No. And our nuclear... Bombs. I want you to look at the scale of this real quick. There's so much bomb in that bomb. The world's smallest nuke? It's every like black ops nuke where it only affects like a one foot radius for some reason. I am just still processing the four minutes of absolute <laughs> that I just had to witness. Is something happening? He stopped Cantler, but I'm afraid he got himself killed in the process. Yeah, he got himself killed. So the general just actually has Hank killed here and he just lies to his daughter about it because we're supposed to like the people in this movie. Even though he's the general and you're the one that calls the shots and it was an explosion. Hank. Hank, you're alive. Henry. He's alive? Why is he still alive? Because he's alive. Yeah, I'm glad he can just survive a nuke, I guess. He must have got in that refrigerator from that one movie. From Crystal Skull. Oh, I hate that movie, dude. Such a good movie. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf played the part of bad really well. I'm gonna kill you! Watch it for us! I'm trying to get off of Not him! before I kill you, old man! <laughs> <laughs> They actually both died. God, I miss you, Hank. You have no idea what I'd give to see your face just one more time. You have no idea how much I want to see your face and touch your face and look at your your face. You. <laughs> I hope you're in hell, you unholy jerk. Drink this. movie just ends with him pissing on his grave. What was that? I want to find whoever created this movie and punch them in the throat. Okay, well, if you want to see us cover more stuff like this, let us know in the comments since you really let us know about this one a lot. Please don't make us do something like this again. And if you liked this video, make sure to lick it. Have a day.